Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is take a look at projects inside of Maya. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is a project? Well, in the Maya world, a project is nothing more than a folder that contains a bunch of subfolders. Now, when dealing with scene construction, there's a lot of different type of assets, a lot of different type of files that we're going to be using. Sure. A different texture files. Scene files. Scene files, uh, particle cache data, sounds. I mean, a lot of different things go into the construction of an animated scene. Right, and we need an organized place where we can store these. Now, to put it very simply, a project is the most important part of anything you do in Maya. <laughs> it really is. I can't tell you the number of students I've seen that basically leave the default project set up with yep. Maya so they don't actually establish something. And at that point, they start creating a bunch of different projects within it. Yeah. So now all the files are all mixed up. Or I can't tell you the number of students I've seen that have files all across their hard drive. Yes, they as do. As opposed to keeping things nice and organized. It hurts. Keeping things organized is extremely important. And in this course, we definitely want you to do that. We demand it. That's right. So we need to go ahead and set up our project the talented ball. And one of the biggest benefits to using a project is after you establish a specific project, every time you hit Control S, every single thing you do that saves a file or creates a file, it'll automatically be created within some folder inside your project. Well, it knows which folder it needs to go in. That's right. That's the wonderful it just, thing. It helps Maya keep track of where to put things. So, where do we get to projects? Well, if we go up to our main menu bar and we click on File, from here you'll see that we have a project menu option, mm -hmm. and from under there we have three options. We've right. got new, edit current, and set. So what's the difference between these three options? First of all, new will allow us to create a new project. Right. It will establish a folder, one folder for that project. So we're going to end up having a folder called Talented Ball. That's right. We use and this when we don't have a project already. That's right. And then up underneath that, Maya will, if you let it, establish a bunch of folders, subfolders, if you will, mm -hmm. that will hold the appropriate types of data. Now, edit current. If you need to make some sort of changes later on while you're working on a project and you need to add a new folder or make a uh, name change to right. a folder, you can come up and edit current and do that. Finally, set. If you already have a project, or let's say we've created three projects and we need to jump back and forth between the three projects while we're working throughout the day, set will allow us to point to another project. That's right. Another good example of set is for those of you out there that are learning Maya and you've gone to your local bookstore and you've bought some cool, here's how to do Maya, uh, <laughs> and you know it's got the CD in it. And I the have CD's that book. Got, yeah, and it's got you know projects on the CD. Yeah. Same thing. You just basically use set to point the, to the appropriate projects. That's now right. Now, in our case, what we're going to do is create a new project. So let's go ahead and hit new like so. That's right. Now, what I want to do is pause this right here and start talking about Windows for a second. Okay. Now, what I'd like for you guys to do is the following. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a hard drive on your computer where you'd like to store all of your data. Or a location on your single hard drive. Yeah, or, yeah, if you happen to have only one, like just C drive. So what I want you to do is click on my computer back on your desktop. Now, you'll bring that up. Pick I your hard drive. So double click on C drive or D drive or wherever. Mm -hmm. Now, at the root of that drive, I'd like for you to create a folder. Name that folder Projects. Yep. Up under Projects, we're going to be storing all of the different projects you guys are going to work your way through in this Maya Fundamentals course. Mm -hmm. So it's just a good idea to keep everything consolidated in one place. So once you've created your Projects folder at the root of whatever drive it is you want the, pro the folder on, close out My Computer, jump back over into Maya. That's right, and you can see we've already done this. Here in our location, we have the H drive, one of the many hard drives in Buzz's computer, and we have the projects folder. Right, now, we're not going to hit browse and dig our way through the tons and tons of folders and hard drives we have, but you'll notice that there is a browse button on the right-hand side, and it's just a matter of hitting browse and simply working your way down to C drive or whatever drive, click on projects, and click OK. That's right. Now... The name, this is the name of the project. What this is really going to be is the name of the folder that's going to be created under the projects folder that you just made in Windows. Right, and then within this new folder, there will be multiple subfolders to hold all the different types of files we'll be working with. That's right, and so the name is going to be Talented Ball. The, capital, Talented. the T will be capital and the B will be capital. Right. Very nice. Now... Take a look at all of these empty fields below, starting with scene file locations. And then below that, there's all sorts of empty fields. These are all the types of data that we can store in a scene. And we n won't necessarily be working with each and every single one of these. Nope. But you have the option of creating uh, special folders. For these. Like if I wanted to, all of my scene files I could store in a folder called Zach's Project 1 Scenes. 
And underneath my talented ball project folder, there would be a folder called Zach's Project One Scenes, and all of my Maya scene files, my .mas or .mbs, would automatically be saved into that. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of making an example. That's right, because at the very bottom, we have a button that says Use Defaults. That's right. Go ahead and hit that. Look at that. Fills it in for you. Yes, it does. This way, when we hit Accept, which we're going to do here in just a second, Maya is going to automatically create all of these folders. Now, real quick, Zach, if you don't mind, go ahead at the bottom and open up H Projects. Okay. So take a look. Here we are. This is the regular. Right, get it back open. Uh, we're inside the folder H Projects, as everybody can see there, mm -hmm. and there is no folders inside of it. So now, Zach, if you'd go ahead and hit Accept, now open up H Projects again. We ah. now have the Talented Ball folder. And if we climb up underneath that one, Ooh. all of the folders we just specified. Very nice. Now, at this point, as we start working in Maya and saving our stuff and all, things are going to be saved in the right location. Now, after creating a new project or setting a project, it is always recommended that you, in Maya, go back to File and do New Scene. That's right. Just to make sure everything updates properly and is indeed pointing to the proper project. That means every time I hit Control-S from here on out, I will be saving this into the Scenes file of the project that I just created. That's right. Now, with all of the different videos that you have received mm -hmm. for this course, you've also got access to data files that are going to be necessary. There are two texture files that you're going to need in this project. That's right. One for the ball and one for the floor. And those are available on the CD. Now, right now, we have not decided on the final CD structure. That's right. There is no CD yet. We're still making it. That's right. <laughs> so um, basically what Zach has done is he's just done a mock-up folder. So go ahead and open that up. So here it is. Um, we've got H drive, but you know whatever drive your CD is, we're going to have some sort of project images folder. Okay? Right. So here's project one images, and there are the two images that are important. Now these names will not change: texture for ball.jpg and wood floor Also, I've included the TB or talented ball storyboards in case you'd like to review those at some point on your own. That's right. So now let's go ahead and open up our other folder. There we go. Now this is very important. Do mm. not skip this step, please. No, please don't, or otherwise later on. When we get into shading the scene, it will not work. That's right. What we need to do is copy the two texture files over into the source images folder inside your talented ball project. Go ahead and just highlight, just click on source images real quick so they'll see what we're talking about. We need those two files on the left to go into that folder on the right. That's right. And the easiest way I know to do this is to just select them both with a quick marquee selection in Windows, and then we can drag and drop right here into source images. So double check. If we open up source images, we now have texture for ball and wood floor. That's right. You need to have those two images over inside that folder. That is Very an ab important. absolutely vital step. Will not become super important until later once we start texturing our scenes. That's right. So at this point, we've got everything set up. We're ready to begin. That's right. So this is really going to wrap up our project overview, and we're ready to advance into the next lesson, which is going to be building the set. Yep. So with that, thanks a lot. Thanks.